Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful morning. Hallelujah. Here is a super short sermon. Hallelujah. The word of God speaks about Galatians, the fifth, in the fifth uh, chapter and the 16th verse. Hallelujah. Walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. We talk about the things of the spirit and we say the word spirit so much, but hallelujah, there's more to it than saying it. Hallelujah. The word of God also speaks of the spirit in the book of 1 Corinthians, the second chapter and the 14th verse, for the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, for they are spiritually discerned. Hallelujah. You must come to the conclusion daily that first of all, you are a spirit. Hallelujah. You, hallelujah, live in a body and you possess a soul. Hallelujah. You must exercise your spirit. How do you exercise your spirit? First, hallelujah, you must pray. You must communicate with the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because God is a spirit. Therefore, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. John, the fourth chapter, the 24th verse. Secondly, you must study the word of God. Hallelujah. To put God's word in your soulish realm. Hallelujah. Your spirit already knows it. Hallelujah. Then you must meditate on the word of God to get the word of God, hallelujah, in your soul, hallelujah. You must meditate it, eating his word as Ezekiel ate God's roll when he was commanded of God, hallelujah, to eat this roll, son of man, eat this roll. And it was like honey in his mouth for sweetness. You must develop a, a taste, a desire, an unquenchable thirst for the word of God. Hallelujah. Next, hallelujah, you must, hallelujah, after you, you pray and after you study, hallelujah, and, and after you meditate, hallelujah, the fourth thing you must do is you got to fast. You have to shut down the desires of your flesh, hallelujah, by fasting and bringing your flesh under subjection and learning how to implement the word of God, hallelujah, in your daily behavior, in your character, hallelujah, in, 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 your, in what you see and in what you say, hallelujah. Knowing the word isn't enough. You can't bring your flesh under subjection if you don't fast. If you don't fast, you will act just like the world when situations arise and you will, you, you will act like the world, hallelujah. Just like Deontay Wilder did, hallelujah. When he got into the fight, he started a good game plan, but, but under duress, he went right back to what he knew. That's why he lost the fight. And that's what we'll do, hallelujah, if we don't fast. Jesus said, this, this kind cometh not out but by prayer and fasting. In Matthew 17, didn't he? Hallelujah, in the 21st verse. How could we not cast them out? This kind cometh not out but by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. The Spirit. Let's practice the Spirit. Amen. That's a quick sermon for you today. I'm gone.